Hi golfers, uh, my name's Dave McKinnon. I'm the head professional here at Chorlton Kamardi Golf Club and the Golf Mates Pro. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put together, we're putting together a series of lessons uh, that's gonna help you enjoy your golf more. These are gonna be 10 minute lessons that you can refer back to. Uh, and we're gonna go right through the game from grip, posture, ball position, driving, irons, chipping, bunker play, putting. All these areas are going to help you that you can just you can click on, click off uh, and find a little area of the game that will help you improve and get the most out of your game. So today we're going to focus on what I find is one of the most, the fundamentals are the most important part for, for any golfer at any level. So we're going to talk about the grip and this is one thing that a lot of people get wrong and a lot of people sort of breeze past which, which frustrates me a little bit when I'm teaching. They sort of, they go past the grip, it's so important. So we're gonna start with the grip. Okay, the grip. So we're gonna uh, show you now how to grip the club correctly. But firstly, I'm gonna show you what a slicer's grip could do and what a hooker's grip can do. So it's gonna be a first reference point for you. So you can hook and slice the ball purely by having the wrong grip. So if you grip the club too far over to the left, as that comes in, the face is gonna open and you'll get a slice. So I'll just show you that now. So if I grip myself up here, set myself up, give myself the, the hands too far over to the left of the club, what it's gonna do is gonna keep the club face open on the way through. So I'm gonna exaggerate so you get a real, a real show of what happens here. So grip the club, go too far over to the left, set myself up, put a good swing on it. And it goes high and weak and right and horrible flight. So let's flip that so that so you get people who are hookers. And again, we, we, uh, we see this a lot. So we go the opposite now. So we go from too far to the left. We go too far to the right. Now this will go low and dippy and real hooky. Again, I'm exaggerating to, to show this. So I set myself up, same setup. Gripping the club, my hands are too far to the right. And I swing it. And that ball will hook quick and fast and ugly and be aggressive and go out of place. Now, I know people think, oh, I come too far inside, too far over the top. Well, I've just shown you there, there's about 150 yards difference in where them balls are just by putting my hands differently on the club. If I put the hands correctly, I can deliver the ball, the club in, which I'm gonna to talk to you about now. But if I have a nice neutral grip and put the same grip on it, the same swing on it, I get a nice straight flight. I'm delivering the club nice and neutral and it's helping me with my swing straight away. It's helping me with the delivery of the club. So I'm gonna give you bullet points now to check and you can reference this against yours. The good thing about this, you can keep flipping back and having a look at this. So left hand on, we're gonna keep it short and sharp so you can remember these points. It's gonna go through the fingers, okay? Through the, through the ring finger there, right through the bottoms of the fingers and this big pad here is gonna sit on top of the grip. Quick check, take all your fingers off apart from your index finger should be able to lift that club up at 90 degrees. Okay, if that hands on incorrectly, take all your club fingers off, you can't lift that up. It's, it's hard, it's difficult. So that little lever is a great little reference point, checkpoint to whether you've got it correct. So pad on top of the grip and we get the left thumb. See a lot of people with a long left thumb, nice and tight. No, nice and light, short thumb, long thumb, short thumb, drag, drag it up. And it's gonna place just to the right of where your badging is. Everyone's got some sort of badging or a little mark on the grip. Just to the right hand side of center. You've created a V that's gonna to point to this right shoulder. That's your left hand now, it's nice and light. You've got a hold of it. If you came and wanted to pull it out of my hand, you could do. I'm not gripping it as though, you know, I've got a bag of gold in my hand. It's nice and light. Right hand comes in, palm to target, eye into lock. So there's interlock, there's overlap, and there's obviously baseball grip. I wouldn't, I wouldn't baseball grip. Overlap or interlock, fine. Interlock, and if you do baseball grip, try it. People go, oh, you know, and it might hurt a little bit because you, you're just stretching your fingers, but it's only a new position, keep with it. So I interlock my fingers, palm to target. And again, what I'm doing is my two pads are sitting either side of my thumb. And what I want to do is cover my left thumb. So if I wear a glove, most people wear a glove, if you don't, you just cover the holes in your thumb, the aeration holes, you're covering it up. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see nothing of the, the glove. It's just coming in and this top pad is going to cover them holes. And your, your right thumb 
it'll sit to the opposite side, so the left side of centre. Okay, and again, what I've created is a V here. It'll go to this, shoulder, to this right shoulder. You'll see those lines there and it'll point up to this right shoulder. So now I open my hands and these hands are working together. If I get this incorrect, they'll fight each other. Okay, so you want these hands working on the same team. Now this is for a right-handed golfer. Obviously, if you're a left-handed golfer, you just flip it, you do the opposite, okay? Now with this, a great thing is we're coming into winter months here, lovely today, but you can practice it in the house. Just picking your club up, keep picking it up, it'll feel funny, but pick it up. People who have lessons with me will always, with me will always know that I go on about brewing up a lot in my lessons. And what I do is that I use the kettle as a timer. So I use the two minute kettle time to pick your grip up. So make a brew tonight, yeah? And in that time while the kettle's on, practice your grip. That practice is great rather than going to the range and hitting 500 balls and hitting it great or bad depending on the mood you're in. That's great practice. That two minutes is more beneficial for you on the course come weekend because you've practiced your grip. You can now, from this position, you can build a swing. So when I talk about, again, building a swing, I talk about the fundamentals. If you're building your house, you have footings in, you have foundations in to build that house. If them footings and foundations are wrong, that house is going to fall down and wobble. It's exactly the same with the golf swing. If you grip it incorrectly, you're probably going to swing it incorrectly, which means you've got to put more things right in the swing to get the ball to go straight. So let's make it nice and simple, grip it correct, and let's build it from there. Okay, so bullet points from today is left hand, fatty pad on top, the one finger drill, left short thumb, just left, just to the right of center. Left thumb, just to the right of center. Palm to target. Again, through the fingers, nice and light. Short thumb. Cover the aeration holes. That's the one. You check down, you can have a look. Create those Vs to the right shoulder, and it's nice and light. That's where we can create speed. Okay? There are your bullet points to check. Do it in the house. Again, while the kettle's on. I'm Dave McKinnon. I've been the Golf Mates Pro here at Chorlton Kamadi Golf Club. See you next week for your next lesson.